It is alleged that millions and millions of Kenyans are actually on the roads marching calling the removal of their current president, who is William Ruto. So my question is, do we have leaders that can actually lead in Africa without this commotion? Leaders who have the interest of their citizens at heart, leaders that don't come up with due order to extort money from their citizens. I don't know. I'm actually in support of the Kenyans with their cause because looking at what is happening in South Africa, we have been paying ta taxes. Um, those who pay taxes like me, <laughs> we pay tax only to be misused by our leaders. So I feel for Kenyan people because that comes from the frustration that they are feeling. So we cannot invalidate what they are doing no matter how we feel about it because you cannot have so many people doing same thing at the same time and there is no reason for that it takes a lot to move from your comfort zone it takes a lot from it takes a lot to move from your home and join the people in the streets for something that is non-existent something that is not a worthy cause so this is an indictment for our leaders in Africa. Why are we unable to have a president that is running a country peacefully without having the uprising, without having to see people dissatisfied this much? So I don't want to talk much about Rwanda. I, that is a different story. In Rwanda is doing uh, very well. But as a South African, I do have uh, friends from Rwanda who are living in South Africa who say Rwanda is not what it seems to be because of the dictatorship that is currently going on there and the silencing of people's views and voices and free speech. So we don't want to talk much about that, but why is Africa unable to govern herself properly? Why do we have such a bad record of leaders who either run the country to the to the drains or just find total unrest in a country so whatever the Kenyan people are looking for I hope they find or maybe they find peace or maybe they get listened to but I don't know if they will achieve a uh, removing the president from power because you know in Africa that thing is not very easy it is not very easy and I dare say most of our leaders in this beautiful content I mean, beautiful continent, um, are corrupt. I dare say, I dare say, because there's actually no reason for a country that is rich as I mean, for a continent that is as rich with the natural resources as Africa, and we still suffer the way we do. For outside continents, for the world, for the world to exploit us, they need our leaders. So. What do you think? What do you think about the situation that is currently happening in Kenya? Will they succeed? Will they be listened to? Or they will find a way to neutralize them or silence them? What do you think is happening? But I do feel for the people of Kenya because we, as citizens, we can be so frustrated when we feel like we are not being listened to and we are getting exploited. So at the end of the day, we just want functional countries and live peacefully in the countries that we were born in or in the current in the countries that we are currently living in let me know what you think in the comments